Hello and welcome to the Coffee Craze, the show where no topic is off limits. I'm here, my name is Achola Rosario, flight captain, and I'm here with my two crazy co-hosts. My name is Joy and mine is Rosemary. Right, so Joy is a marketer, Rosemary is financial consultant, I'm a producer, so we have brains, yeah? So, what are we talking about today? Um, today's topic was about... Your goal is to try to make sure your home is a place of peace, order, and tranquility where your husband can renew himself in body and spirit. Prepare yourself. Take 15 minutes to rest so you'll be refreshed when he arrives. Touch up your makeup. Men. Should men help in the house? Yeah. Basically, we're questioning what is your importance in the household? If you're not going to help him do anything, really, are you useful? Yes, I, I actually disagree with Rosario on that <laughs> note because number one, we have to define our roles uh, in terms of uh, productivity. How do you make an intelligent man who should be thinking of ambition and the next goals for the home to be washing clothes? Uh, excuse me, how about let's not be gender stereotypical Am I not intelligent enough to go out and make money? Can't you wash clothes? Let me give a scenario. We went to work, our bosses shouted at us, abused us, we are so tired, we all come in streaming at 6 p.m., so tired. And then the husband puts his feet on the table while the wife enters the kitchen to start scrubbing sufurias. Is that fair for real? And he's like, where's my dinner? Yeah, shouting orders. Where? Where? The magician Toto. By the Where? way. <laughs> By the way. Okay, not the shouting part. Hold up, hold up. Can I just say one disclaimer? Gentlemen, if any of you ever call me where, <laughs> we'll have a fight. Okay, go on. Now, Joe, you want to tell me that I'm not saying men should not help. I'm just defining that parameter of help. Yeah? But where like, does that where do come you from? It came from the Bible. And Which then, Bible? Yo. <laughs> okay. Okay. I no, will no, make a suitable yeah, helper God. for him. The yeah. very word helper me uh -huh. in one of the ancient languages mm -hmm. is the verb root is Ezel Kenegdo, meaning mm -hmm. I will make him a helper mm -hmm. suitable to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Who is in equal capacity with him. Now that is very important. Capacity. Yes, equal capacity with him or even superior. Mm -hmm. But having said that, mm -hmm. it does not mean then that you are competing like we are sharing 50-50. Who's competing? At the end of the day, all I'm asking, right, is it where was it written that boys play and girls do housework? True. Okay, now when you bring that angle, uh, Rosario, mm. you are, we have to differentiate what is culture, what is beneficial, uh -huh. and what is the balance of all these Do you things. know all this stuff about men should never enter the kitchen? It came from our grand, great grandparents whereby I think men tried to put that rule so that they could be favored, so that they escape from doing housework. Not really, I disagree, totally. Personally, I find the men who can take care of themselves, mm -hmm. who can clean, who can cook, who are what, are the most switched on individuals. Because, in fact, me personally, I taught my son how to cook. Great. Yeah. I taught my son. He was, always, like, uh -huh. he was always hanging around the kitchen anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like I taught him how to cook so that when he grows up, mm -hmm. he doesn't get like a fella girlfriend just because he's hungry. Uh -huh. True. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just get some chick to come cook for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no. Mm -hmm. Now I'm preparing him for discernment oh, relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even, even my children, I'm planning the girls and the boys, they all do the same roles. If it's yes, it's a lady, one, let's establish one thing here. No, 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 no. Joy, a minute. Let's, let's establish something here. We are not saying that men should not help. And that's why I began by let's define that help. Let's, let's define but, the, the spectrum. But have you noticed most men? Wait, what is the spectrum of this help? It okay. is not bad for a man to help once in a while if once it is in a necessary. Why? What kind of help? If what, it like is change, necessary. What kind of help? Like, like what? So not doing like, dishes. 
What kind of help is acceptable for a man to do in the house? The kind of help that is expected from a man is the kind of help that I can do, like fixing the, the sink, if the sink is spoiled, uh, or fixing the bath, the things that I can't do myself. Mm -hmm. Or once in a while, let it not be a routine. So you can't wash clothes? Why should you wash clothes? See, he's helping you. No, that is, let him think about better things. No, probably both of you. He's the so head of the home. But both of let you. Let him be thinking about ambition things, challenging things in life. Where are, are we, we, we going to be in the next 10 years? Yes. Yes. Are we are so that? tired in the evening. Clothes are, uh, are supposed to be washed. One person can be reading the, and the other is worrying. Okay, now, now let, let me ask you. Mm -hmm. So, in that same vein, mm -hmm. okay, you've just given birth, yes, yeah? Exactly. The middle of the night, Maninos, mm -hmm. yeah? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Should he get up uh -huh. and change the pamper and carry the baby and put the baby back to sleep while you sleep? Mm -hmm. Okay, you see, I haven't, I haven't uh, experienced that. Oh, okay, yeah. But, like, in your ideal world, mm -hmm. yes? Uh, Would you make him wake up? That is what I'm asking. I wouldn't. I would want him to be his own initiative. Let him do because he wants to, not because I'm demanding. But that's what You'll I'm be saying. waiting for a very long time. <laughs> do you know nowadays, actually, do you know nowadays when you're going to do it, most doctors are advising fathers and mothers should go together for those clinics. They both parents have to know like which vaccinations the kids are having because it's a mutual it's that is a different case remember we are talking no, about they are also, yeah. they're also like, advice like to change diapers vacuum the, the kids the, carpet, yes. have the woman the woman after you've given birth you're still you have still to you it. need help okay how did our mothers do it ah now the, uh, maybe during those times uh, times of favorable you know what happened during our mothers well, that is why they also had high mortality yeah you used to live like 10 and they also had high Mortality, mother mortality rates exactly. because they were not healing, they were yes. not giving the chance to heal. Totally. And then there used to be like 10 aunties, 10 anti A, B, C, D. And now, after a while, aunties, let me ask you give me an ideal scenario. Both of you are working? Yes. Uh -huh. What should happen? When you come in the evening, I could be cooking, you could be washing the dishes. Or washing <laughs> the kids. Yeah, or washing the kids. No! Or helping them with homework. Or how do they have them? They how do they help? Be happy to see him. Greet him with a warm smile and show sincerity in your desire to please him. Speak in a low, soothing and pleasant voice. Make the evening his. Never complain if he comes home late or goes out to dinner without you. Instead, try to understand his world of strain and pressure and his need to relax. Don't ask questions about his actions or question his judgment or integrity. Remember, he is the master of the house and as such will always exercise his will with fairness and truthfulness. You have no right to question yeah, him. Yeah, let's say we don't have a house girl. You know, let me tell you, by the way, actually... Let's be um, practical. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me give you an example. Uh, the father of my children, mm -hmm. yeah, he's your average guy, like yeah. total guy, guy, guy. Mm -hmm. But he said one of his most fulfilling moments was being peed on by his baby son when he was changing the pamper. Mm -hmm. He used to wake up, my son had colic, yeah? Mm -hmm. Colic is when the baby cries the yeah. whole mm -hmm. night, mm -hmm. like the kid screams, mm -hmm. like you're holding the kid like a yeah. devil, like ah! And like he would walk up and down mm -hmm. the so driveway mm -hmm. soothing the baby. It's like, no, you sleep. Mm -hmm. That's nice. That Did you tell him? Oh yeah, I was like, that was the one fifth reasons why I was like, thank you. Imagine, it's so like, touching. Yeah. I, and that's why I'm, I've, I've said at the beginning that mm. let him help when it is necessary. Do you know by then there's a study that was done in Norway, where Norway country, whereby 50% mm. uh, of divorce rate is because of couples, couples who do housework together. Oh, yeah, yes! Uh, yes. Uh, do you have chances of divorce? <laughs> you know why? Uh -huh. But you know in why? Africa, that's the only place where we have house uh, help schools. Um, the knee is cheap, labor is cheap. Yeah. But then European country states and all, labor, labor is so expensive and people work in shifts. So imagine you are maybe the, the wife is night shift, so the father won't cook for the you know you know what happened? So this fifty percent rate is high because what happens when a man becomes a housewife husband? Let me use that term. Whoa. Which is not very friendly, but <laughs> when a man becomes that, there's this familiarity. A woman wants someone who is um who is what? 
a man is the head, he's so the priest, what, what, you're, the... what you're essentially saying mm -hmm. is that if a man helps around the house, mm -hmm. he makes himself effeminate. Not really, but he makes that, uh, you know that all that you look for your man, mm. it becomes toned down. Really? So, yes. Listen to him. You may have a dozen important things to tell him, but the moment of his arrival is not the time. Let him talk first. Remember, his topics of conversation are more important than yours. Remember, a good wife always knows her place. True. No, no, okay, domestic awareness is uh, from the husband is essential. That's why I said, look, uh, not my word. Yeah, where yeah, necessary. necessary. Yeah, but the, but the but problem question. with the, wo the woman of today is mm. she will want to, uh, you know, no, and then don't take that time. Like, how friends can be mutual. Like, let me help you this. Like, for example, if I came with uh, Minji's here. All of you guys would start helping me, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, as we are conversing, it's not like, wait, wait you, who, 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 and me, I'm stretching. Wait, you see? Wait, so no. it's like a mutual help where, but both of you are helping each other where? And you see, and this is why, like, uh, I'm sorry to bring in the term feminism, the evil one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, bra burning. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, feminism has got a bad rep because. In, because this is what feminism is, trying to get people in a household mm -hmm. to respect each other and like, you know, mutually live symbiotically, yeah? Mm -hmm. So now they're saying that in doing that, yeah, mm -hmm. we're debasing men, yeah? Mm -hmm. When it's not that, it's actually raising up the woman so that we're equal partners, yeah? Mm -hmm. Equal partnership. A man, this is your home. Yeah? yeah, take pride in your home. Yeah. You come home, your wife is still at work. Are you not going to cook and eat? Like, because like society has made removed responsibility from the man so much so that the man will actually think it's okay for him to sit hungry and wait for Imagine. you to come home and cook. Um, do you get okay. my point? Yes, I do. Yeah, but I'm just wondering. Mm -hmm. There's this time they always call the woman the help, the homemaker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would you kindly explain for me but that in this century, in that perspective, but, uh, right now in this century and the economy, yeah, yeah. right now uh, for families to uh, to like uh, to even survive, both man and wife have to go work. So you see, both of you are out there doing your thing. But uh, okay, let's be realistic, Joe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. you are coming home. Yes, your husband is coming home. Then mm -hmm. you want him to wash clothes. Not clothes, maybe all the Yeah, oh, when I'm cooking. Wash the, wash the dishes. So that all of us can quickly finish the thing. Yeah, and then like I've eat. I've cooked, I've cooked. It never works. We use stuff like that. Like one after that. Yeah. Since I've cooked, he can wash the dishes. So you'll be stuck in the kitchen while him is here watching TV and changing channels. No, he can be storytelling. He can come to the kitchen and keep me company. And she'll be watching you doing everything, washing the house. She'll, she'll, she'll probably give him the biggest. <laughs> No, she's probably giving the biggest piece of meat there, like, you know, like... Imagine. You know, remember those how, like, our uh, uh, no, grandparents, yeah? Like, you, you reserve the meat for the father, like, the rest of you have... Of like, course, it's the head! Okay, let me, let me ask you, mm -hmm. like, for example, in those, uh, those kingdom countries, mm -hmm. yeah? Where yeah. they still embrace the traditional mm -hmm. kingdom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you think the king would do what everyone else would do? Those are traditions. No, they're not traditions, because, you see, man is evolving. Okay, a technology is evolving and everything, but man is still the way he was created but, and designed to function. We but that is on the basic build. premise. That is on the basic premise that asking somebody to help around the house is disrespectful. It is. Oh my no, God! No, uh, have you ever gone like to hospitals where the, they are male nurses? Where but that is a profession. Feeding. That's a profession, not from his wife. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> 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 I I should do the same. <laughs> that is a profession. Yeah, that's my job. Okay, like say for example, yes. you have a guy who's a chef in a restaurant, yeah? Mm -hmm. Like he comes home, mm -hmm. like he, he wants his wife's mm -hmm. cooking because like, you know, he's been yeah. cooking all yeah. day, yeah. blah, blah. Yeah. That I can understand, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. But like, really, you come home from work, there's food there. The table will be left with that because the mm. wife has to come, wait, like, go, I, put I your food like, in the microwave, heat it 
it up. I get the food. <laughs> Basically, when you die. <laughs> I think right now what needs to happen mm. in this new generation of boys, I think the young ones, we need to teach them responsibility. Oh yes. That it's not uh, uh, it's not a woman's job to like be clearing everything. They need to also know how to mop. They need to know how to mop. They need to know how to wash clothes. Their own underwear. Yeah. True. Fantastic. <laughs> find this help. What kind of help? Have you ever washed your, your husband's boxes? Skid marks. <laughs> <laughs> this is reality. <laughs> this is reality. What is wrong with washing boxes? It's skid marks. We can wash boxes. Wash your own skid marks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You mess, you clean. I, I, don't, I don't mind. Conversely, okay children in the house, mm -hmm. but like the men who will wash their women's undergarments. Mm -hmm. Which is okay. It's very beautiful. And why is, why is the opposite gross? No, it's <coughs> not gross mm -hmm. per se, unless, you know, like the man is not hygiene, mm -hmm. not hygienic, <laughs> is what I'm saying. If people want to have healthy relationships, they have to go back and think from the perspective of, of, okay, what is the meaning of Skid marks, sorry. Skid marks. <laughs> <laughs> it is when you go to the toilet to do a number two and you don't wipe properly. But now that's a problem of being raised. This should have been addressed when the, kid, the person was a baby. Exactly, but because boys are so left to do uh, their own we men devices, have to do the yeah, for them. Like now that's the problem. They literally can't won't go. even wipe their own butts properly. Which is so wrong. Imagine. And Mothers of boys, please, 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 please raise the next generation to be responsible men. Tell them no, to they, wash their own they, underwear. There's a difference between being responsible and there's another difference. You see, you guys are mixing two things here. We are talking about the man coming home and but I can imagine your husband coming home joy and he's washing but all you your know, But you know that yeah. so they saw what their fathers were doing. You see that's what I'm saying? Right now we need to start with the We are going to raise men that are not masculine, that no. are not men. Washing the house is not, you're not losing your masculinity. At all. You guys know, have not had stories where... Actually, what? I just forgot that story. There's, 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 a, there's, a, there's a newspaper I was reading. This lady sits, the man does everything in the house. Oh, in the name of my husband, is very kind and and just no, no, those, amazing person. No, no, the house. Those maybe are overboard. But I'm I'm overboard say, like stereotypes to yeah. like counter what we're saying. Let's say for example, <coughs> yeah, look. At the end of the day, yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, I've lost my point. Damn it, I hate when that happens. Um, coffee. coffee. This is coffee craze. Coffee craze. Mm. Okay. Another point. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been to a bachelor's house? Yes. What's the first thing you notice in a bachelor's house? Mm. Untidiness. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But not all. I've seen some who are very tidy. Those ones who are raised those well. Those were raised well. Totally. Mm -hmm. That's the point. You see, because they've never been expected <coughs> to clean after it's themselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So even when they're in their own environment, but they don't clean uh, after themselves. Just yeah. a moment, Rosario. Mm -hmm. If I'm not saying that we need to bring up kids who are unbalanced and everything. Of course, before they get into marriage, they have to be taking care of their own lives yeah but i'm saying that in the context of marriage mm -hmm. should should a woman expect a man to come from work no. and come and start helping around yes it's quite normal I disagree. my husband helps me cook sometimes especially when i was expecting you see exactly i said when, 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 when i, I was said at the beginning if it you, is necessary no right it's still not necessary but he he, he loves the cooking. point is that he it's always dishes. necessary like when i don't have a house help he finds exactly me. if it is necessary. But most times, no, we're talking because it is necessary. You don't have a household. Now, okay, you're saying if it is necessary. Yes. Yeah? There are men who, because of the kind of conditioning you're talking about, mm -hmm. even when necessary, mm -hmm. will not step in. Exactly. Which is not right. They leave the woman. That's why. I, that's why I was talking themselves. about the husband who comes home from work, mm -hmm. finds <coughs> this not like the wife is not there. Mm -hmm. There's food and everything, mm -hmm. but he cannot mm -hmm. go and make himself food and eat. He will Imagine. sit and starve and wait, and wait 
for her to for come example, back and get angry and angry and angry mm -hmm. so that by the time she comes back she's like how do you leave me sitting here hungry waiting for you to imagine, eat food imagine i yeah. thought these are extreme cases yeah oh no no for example maybe you've been held out uh, held uh, in town mm -hmm. maybe they instructed mm -hmm. your husband arrived at home at 5 pm mm -hmm. you don't have a household mm -hmm. now you're stream you're coming in at 9 pm mm -hmm. food has not yet been cooked mm -hmm. uh, your husband has just been watching tv mm -hmm. so that's okay he continues watching tv yeah, that's fine with me as long as you wait, wait till the time you finish making food that's fine with me uh, 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 <laughs> I give her, I give her three years before she cracks. <laughs> and I enjoy doing that. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Three years before she cracks. All right. So, let us now conclude. Mm -hmm. Joy, mm -hmm. what is your conclusion? A conclusion is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Both husband and wife have to help each other with whichever work being done. Not that even the women who are mechanics. If you guys <coughs> own a garage, both man and wife enter the garage and help each other. In the house, do that's your own thing. That, that's no, a different. No, 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 no. You'll no, no. have your moment. Huh? You'll have your moment. Do your own things together in love. Actually, that will help even in the socialization of the home and the family. Okay. Your point of view. My point of view is that a man should, for the dynamics of a relationship to be right, and which is the core of any relationship, uh, the man should help when it is necessary. Now, when it is necessary, it's them who define when is it necessary. As for me, I say start from the beginning. Raise up your boy child and ask their father to set an example as a modern, emancipated man. It is not disrespectful for you to be helpful around your home. It is called house pride. Yes? And <laughs> I okay, let me finish. Disclaimer. Yes, I said earlier on I'm a feminist, yes, but I actually I love cooking. Mm -hmm. I'm a very, very good cook. When my man is very good to me, mm -hmm. I'm someone who No, 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 I'll remove his shoes mm -hmm. when he comes home from work. Mm -hmm. I'm that kind of person. Mm -hmm. I love to serve mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. But my friend, mm -hmm. if there's dishes that need to be done and you see me busy somewhere, and then you need to do two a two a two after that. Bad manners. <laughs> it is not disrespectful <coughs> for a woman to be engaged in house chores. It is not undermining. It doesn't make her less. Remember, she is of equal to the man. Okay, I don't think that's what we were arguing, but it's okay. <laughs> so, for the coffee craze, my name is Achola Rosario, flight captain. Thank you. <laughs> Signing out. Bye.